Hello everyone and welcome to another IA Roadkill gaming video. We are playing Farming Simulator 19 and we are in Lone Oak with normal economy, 9 day seasons and trying to achieve 10 million in bank. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 1. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button please. Thank you. You heard me right. We are going to attempt the achievement of 10 million dollars in bank again. Still have not achieved that. Our last try was with New Woodshire, and the file got corrupted, so non-playable. I would have had to do a whole lot of re reconstruction, so with that, we are going to start, and I will put the speed to five we're going to do this time see how that goes i went to a farm auction yesterday and i was the lucky winner of this property right here didn't come with any land there's going to be a land auction tomorrow. Tomorrow or the next day, I don't remember. But we will worry about that at that time. So, let's go to Manning's. Oh! I need to go in and talk to them about what's available. I'll be right with you. The story is this is a trade in that has been sitting here a while. And I said, yes, I will. It looks like the perfect starter tractor. So that is a nice tractor. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, they tuned it up good. All right. Let's see. Since I have no fields of my own yet, What do we have here? Field 40 is a good kind. Ooh! Field 24. $20,000. I think we need to give that a try. Field 24. Ooh, that is going to take us quite a while. Whoops, I better accept it before it disappears. Nobody coming. Oh, I probably should have left my front loader parts at the shop. Darn it. Well, I'll leave them sit at the edge of the field. Maybe we will try it with it. I forgot the salesman at Manning's told me that within the first half hour 
if I find a problem with it, to bring it back, and they will fix it or give me my money back. Which I thought was awfully good. So, let's see if I can... I think it's going to work with that front end on there. A lot of times with the stole front loader arm, things kind of get goofy and don't work right, but this might be working just fine. And I still have my turn signal on. And I can't. There we go. Seems to be a little underpowered. Might be a little large on the plow for this horsepower. But we are going up a hill, and we are going 8 miles an hour. I guess we're fairly flat right there. We were going up a little bit. It's still faster than the 7 miles an hour you go if you have the... plows or... the other little plows, so... Not too bad. I think I'm going to put three headlands on here. And then I'm going to go up over that hill over there. And that'll make for a long pass. And that'll make for a lot of long passes. bank has told me that they will loan me $500,000 to buy property, land, fields. So I need to get as much cash as I can so we can spend the most amount Possible because you can't make money if you don't have the property. And speaking of don't have the property, something we should have done Let's drop this off and let's see, I need to get to that. Let's go back to Manning's. We have a place to raise chickens on our farm. We might as well get some chickens going. I'm going to go in here and buy some parts 
and I will see you when I have them outside here. Okay, I think that's everything I might need to raise the chickens. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to put this bale spike right... Eh, no, I'm not. I need that. Let's see. Let's get... We have a tipper. And I always call it a wagon. We bought a pallet of seeds. Sorry, we bought a pallet of wheat for the chickens to eat. Silly thing. And we bought two crates pallets to put eggs in. And a bucket to clean up the feed area after the messy chickens make a mess. back this trailer up over here. And of course we have an early spring shower. Whoa! Did not mean to spin the whole wagon around, but I guess there's no weight in it. Come on, buddy. Scooch. There's that. Highfalutin. Farming term. Scooch. Alright. Let's see. Like a glove. See if I can put this one in here a little nicer. That's what I wanted to do. And I, well, I, I did want it to lay sideways. Oh well. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Probably wondering how am I gonna get all this stuff there? Well, it all goes in the wagon. See, I told you I was gonna call it a wagon. Yeah, that's just the way I was brought up. That's what my uncle called it. Let's see. Can I get that to not knock that? Wow, that moved fast. Let's try that again. There we go. And if I detach it... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted it to stand up. Oh, well, that was a good sign. At least I'll be able to get it out. If not, I may have to dump the whole wagon upside down. And then clean up the mess. Manning said that there is a phone a magnet on the refrigerator with a phone number so I can just call up the animal dealer and they will bring the chickens out to the farm once I decide what I want so we don't have to go get them. Suppose I should cover that up since it is raining.
I'm looking at buying that property right there. And there's two properties over in those trees on the other side of the farm buildings right there, which is our farm that we bought. Unless I can get enough money, if I could save up enough money, I want this property right here. This one right across the road from our farm. Oh, missed the driveway. This property right here across the road, or that one diagonal. Whoops. Yeah, we missed the driveway. I was talking and listen or looking around and Dad gummit. All right, since it's raining, let's come inside the building. Fish these out of here. Oh, I need to try to get that bucket out of there first. Now, I hope it doesn't flip everything. Oh, that worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. A lot better. Let's put that right here for now. Just like that. And let's put these back on. And we'll see if the egg crates egg pallets come out as easy as they went in. That didn't quite work right. Whoops. And right there. Well, I told you I might flip the whole trailer. go. So maybe I can just drag it right out of the trailer and the trailer will stand right back up. One can hold, right? Oh, didn't get it. There we go. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. You know you want to. And there we go. Just like I planned it. Let's get this. On there. And let's go put this out at the chicken area. I don't know why I'm being so careful with this grass. I'm going to end up driving over it anyway. And let's see here. 
You know, I said it was in on the refrigerator, but I think it's right here on the wall. I did have to come into the house. The phone number was on the refrigerator, like I thought. I thought it was out in the shed, too, but it was in here. They are going to have them delivered right away. So we will go back outside. And continue working. Getting ready for them. light switch yes it is there we go now we can see what we're doing and that's not the one I wanted I wanted to come in this door I guess I'll have to learn where I'm at and we'll open that up and I see the light switch perfect all right. Boy, that's a big shop. Well, it's not the shop. The shop was the one we opened first. Well, that was that was big too, so. There we go. Don't fall off. All right, go ahead and fall off. I didn't have a hold of it very good. There we go. That's the way I wanted to grab it the first time. Wow. That is a nice... Would you stop? Wow, that pallet does not like my bale forks. Look at that. Just so it doesn't go flying into the chicken coop. That would upset me. Let's get rid of it here as soon as we can. There. And we'll just scooch it into place. Oh, why did that egg crate, egg box, go right there? What's wrong with this? Right there, huh? Oh, are you kidding me? It's just outside. Annoying. Oh, I've got chickens. They're quick, quick delivery. There. Now I wonder if that box on top will continue filling since it's up there. Not that I really care. That one's in the space. All right. Well, we better go grab them that feed that we've got in the wagon. gonna put my forks right here with all of the supplies that we don't use 
Come on. There we go. And let's grab the bucket. They took 2,000, uh, no, they took 1,200, is that the size the pallet was? I don't remember. Well, you know, I could just leave this right here. Eh. Let's put it inside this shed. You think it'll fit in here? That's where it should go. in the middle instead of off to one side next time we pull it out I'll straighten it up and we'll put our bucket right there there we go we are farming chickens we are in egg production and we are gonna see if we can increase our herd herd flock is it a flock flock of chickens I think we have two roosters they recommended more than that but I said two's fine slow growth slow growth will be good now if the growth is too slow I'll end up going back and buying a few more but Well, I hope this rain isn't too much for that field. I'm thinking since it needs to be plowed that I should be all right. The ground will be good and firm. Oh, when I drove by, I said this is one of the fields I was thinking about purchasing. No, not that one. This one. This long, skinny one. I like long fields. I don't like those little trees there. Maybe I can get rid of them. Widen the field out. I think this is a nice tractor. This is going to do us very well. Things just have a way of working out, I think. Ooh, that guy just about got T-bone pulling out in front of that other car. 
We almost saw us an accident. Alright, let's see if we can look up to that. And how close was I? Not very close. No. Okay. Deep breaths. Well, this ground is really dry. There we go. All better. We will put one more headland on here and then we'll hire us a high school kid because they like to get we're not very good at driving straight, are we? We'll hire a high school kid that can drive straight lines because they need gas money for their hot rod cars. And we will probably do it... Oh, I missed again. We will do a time lapse on this because I have a feeling this field is going to take a little while. In fact, I hope I get it done before dark, is what I'm thinking. It is 11 o'clock now, so we will see. Only time will tell. Twenty thousand dollars. I'll probably spend two thousand dollars in worker fees. I hope I remember to check that at the end of the day, and we will see how much we actually did spend. All righty, let's get. Over here. Oh, I forgot to pick it up. I am a new farmer, aren't I? There we go. We have hired a high school student. There she is. I will make a super fast time lapse of this plowing and I will do that at the beginning of the next episode. I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you would like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.